welcome back guys so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the eyes today because we may have a little bit of fallout so we're gonna go ahead and use the modern renaissance by Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hill palette absolutely love this palette one of my holy grails um, the first color we're gonna use just to set our concealer um, is the tempera color that's just a basic nude um, this helps so that your colors can go on a lot more evenly and transition a lot better instead of it looking a little bit patchy Next, we're gonna go in with Raw Sienna, and we're gonna just put that in our crease. I've noticed lately that works better for me is to start on the outer crease and then move in to my, well, my outer eye, move into my crease. I feel like it just makes it blend out a little bit better um, instead of putting that much product or even just a little bit of product exactly on the crease and then working it out from there. Next, we're gonna go in with Burnt Orange, the color right next to it. There's not much of a huge difference, except that it is a little bit of a lighter tone, but this is just gonna brighten it up, give it a little bit more dimension. You know I am all about that dimension when it comes to smoky eyes. Next, we're gonna go in with this red burnt color. I personally love this color. It's probably one of my favorite out of the whole palette. But we're just, again, gonna put that right on the outer portion and blend it out into the middle. Again, with you doing it on the outer portion of your eye and bringing it in, you're putting a little bit more product on the outer portion and then slightly bringing it in. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with this Real Gar color. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is more of your true orange. This is where we're gonna get that fall inspired colors just really made me think of leaves again right over top of it and then just blend it out according next we're gonna go in with this dark brown it's called Cy cypress umber they need to figure out better names honestly <laughs> but we're gonna put this only on our outer portion of our eye and then slightly bring it in about halfway um, this is gonna make your eyes look bigger and kind of elongate them and then blend accordingly Next, we're gonna go in with this shimmer called Primavera. Absolutely love, love this color. I did spritz my uh, brush a little bit with um, Urban Decay Setting Spray. You can use um, Fix Plus by MAC or anything like that, but you wanna just put it all the way up into the crease. You don't want to put it anywhere above, and then just slightly kind of lightly pat it near the brown. I did go ahead and do my lashes and eyeliner off makeup or off camera. So let's go ahead and start off with the face. I'm going to use my usual, my professional um, by Benefit, one of my absolute holy grails. Again, I will never stop using it. Then I'm going in with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color, what color is this? Sunlight. I actually put a little bit too much on on my right side, so I'm really trying to dab it out, and I put the perfect amount on my left side. I feel like that always happens to me. Um, but you just wanna bend this out in the same exact places that you would put your powder highlight. It's really gonna enhance it underneath your foundation. Next, we're gonna go in with the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the color, what color are you? Oh, 208 Sun Beige. And we're just gonna use my uh, damp booty, booty. <laughs> my damp beauty blender and blend that all out. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go in with the uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer in the color 3C Medium Cool. I love, love this concealer. It blends out so nicely, but I wanted a little bit more of a highlight. So we are gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the color Y23. I can't do this concealer alone specifically it's way too light for my skin tone especially when I am tan so I like to put it on top of my other one just to kind of brighten up the other one but not be too bright Here 
Have you guys ever just wondered the type of faces that you make while you're doing makeup? Because <laughs> I swear, I, my, I'm my i watching this and I'm like, oh my gosh, my face. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Translucent uh, Laura Mercier Setting Powder, Powder and just baking underneath my eyes for the day just to give a very airbrushed look. Next, we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, um, and this is in the color Toast. I normally don't do liquid, um, liquid contouring, but recently I've been into it just because I like the natural look of it. It's a lot less powdery. Um, I did put a little bit too much on, but again, that's just something that I always do and I will blend out accordingly towards that. Um, I like to do one side first because you don't want the other side to kind of go into your foundation without it being blended out. So I'll just do one side of my forehead and then go on to the next side. And of course, the sun was moving, there was clouds, and now I am look blue, but trust me, it comes back. I was like, Really? What is this? What is this? So next we're going to go ahead and set my whole face with my Studio Fix Max Mac uh, NW25. And this is really going to help us calm down also the LA Girl Concealer for our contouring. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my... I just bronzed up my face and then my Laura Mercier translucent powder just to carve out underneath my cheekbones. I did just set under my eyes again with a little bit more of a brightening effect for my Kat Von D contour palette um, in the middle shade of that as well. Next, we're going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. I am using the color Rose Spritz for my blush, and I also did mix it a little bit with Amarato just to give it more of the uh, warm tone. Next, we are going to go in with, I think this is... Prosecco pop just to give us a nice highlight on our cheeks and what I've also noticed is that when you do your highlight please blend it out according to your uh, contour and your bronzer you don't want to have a strip of highlight and then it not be blended now we're gonna out. go ahead and do our under eye we're gonna do ex the same exact thing that we did on the top um, in you know from the raw sienna down to the dark brown and add a thing of mascara and I am gonna use ColourPop lax on my lips and I hope you guys enjoy please give it a thumbs up and any comments down below on what you guys want to see next I'm so inspired with fall and I'm so excited to get back into the routine of filming for you guys and showing you different looks so show me some love and I will see you guys soon bye